welcome back so now in this video we will show a network image as a custom marker first of all you close that dart file from here and you will go towards lib and create a new directory by the name showing network image as custom marker that is gonna be the name for this specific directory now right click create a new dart file and in here we will say show then we say nat short name then we say i m g network image and then we say custom and that is fine and also with it let's write marker mr mar that's fine now press enter now right in this directory what i'll do we'll have a stateful widget so write in here st and there you go with the suggestion in here now we will give the name as showing network image as custom marker now right in here we will simply just remove that const key from here you don't need this and simply click upon that stateful widget import the library material dot dot there we go now what we will do we will simply just copy that name class from here and go to the man dot dot in here we will remove that and pass the showing network image as a custom marker in here with the brushes and now click upon that import the library okay now right above all just fine and now we will go to where the dot file show network image right in here now we will simply just hold to load the app and you guys will notice the empty screen since right in this house it's a empty container now the first thing that we will do just to integrate the google map and you guys know how to just integrate the google map so i'll go towards the home screen and from there i'll just copy the code for time saving completer and also this initial position we will copy that from here and go towards the dart file by the name show network image right in here above the widget bill okay above that we will just paste it so in here take this down like that and we will paste it now we will just click upon that and import the libraries okay also for the completer all just fine now I'll go back to the home screen and from here let's scroll down we will just copy the safe area from here from here to here just copy it and go towards the show network image as a custom marker in here we will remove that and have a scaffold widget in here take this down and paste the code now for now on we will just remove that okay and all just fine now come here and hold to load the app you guys will notice the google map there we go okay so we are done with the home screen okay now we will just go towards the yep we are here right on this specific dart file let me open the emulator okay from here there we go now the one thing that i will do i'll just create the set for the markers and also we'll just copy the coordinates from the google map as we did 
right in the previous videos and you guys know already how we will do that so let's go right at top instead of writing I'll just copy paste the code from the home screen okay from here let's go up we have to just copy that from here and go back to the show network image in here above the widget bill in here I'll just paste it okay so that's a list but we have to just add in here set for the marker as I told you already in here you will remove that bracket and gonna have the curly braces all just fine we are done with the set for the markers and right after that in here we'll have a list simply as I told you already for the latitude and longitude that we will copy from the Google map specific coordinates so then on this specific coordinate position we will show the custom marker as a network image okay so first let me have that in here so we'll say let and longitude in here let long and then we say give the name the object name I'll say my points in here and then in here bracket write it and semicolon and take this down from here now in here accordingly as you guys know we will just provide the latitude and longitude as you guys can see so you guys know already how you guys will just copy the coordinates from the Google map so just go ahead and copy the specific coordinate that you guys want and just come here and paste it in here so I'll just quickly do that Fire time saving first let me just close that file I'll go towards the polyline from here I have this coordinates okay there we go as you guys can see in here I'll just copy that quickly from here close it go towards that so back again we'll go toward the show network image dot file there we go okay guys and in here instead of that I'll paste the other code there we go okay list light long my points now I'll just simply go down and set the marker in my Google map in here so I'll say markers and then we say set as we created before above for the markers so in here we'll say marker and then we'll say dot off in here I'll provide my object name by the name my markers okay so that's it we set it right in our Google map as you guys can see now we will go ahead and create a method above the widget build that will be the widget build and above that in here so it's going to be future type so in here we'll say future and then it's going to simply run the unit at list in here with a capital U that is fine in here and then we say 8 in here and then we say list and right after that now we're gonna simply give the name as a uh, for loading it's gonna start a small f okay for loading then we say network image so that's gonna be the name in here and we're gonna simply just pass the path in here we'll have a string type path we will pass that since it will be a future type so in here we'll say async asynchronous and then call the braces and tag this down now simply click upon that unit at least and import the library as you guys can see type data okay all fine now I'll just create a final type completer in here so you'll say final key in here so it's gonna be non-changeable then once anything will be assigned to this completer that we're about to create it's gonna be then non-changeable so in here let's create that completer okay and now we will just assign in this specific completer 
the image info as a completer so in here first let me just write the code I'll just explain it okay in here we'll say completer and as the image info in here write it and semicolon then after this we'll create a variable in here by the name image okay simply for the network image okay we'll assign that network image in here and also the URL is going to be the path that we are passing okay and write it and semicolon all just fine now let's take this down scroll down and in here we'll say with the help of that specific image that we just assign this network image and the specific path in this variable so with the help of that we'll say dot resolve now in here we'll just provide the configuration for the image so in here we'll say image configuration there we go and with that what I'll do we will just add the add listener so it's gonna just listen to that towards the image configuration okay we just add that in here add it and semicolon take this down from here and then we say image stream listener there we go so in here we'll just remove that quickly okay and we'll say then in here brushes then we'll have the information in here so we'll say info comma and then we'll just go towards the completer so in here we'll say completer with it and simply just complete that info okay in here info and all just fine in here add the cons modifier and below this in here now we're gonna simply just create final type key in here and we'll say image info gonna create that in here and now we'll assign that first in here avid since it's asynchronous so we'll say then avid completer dot future and right after that we're gonna say final key in here and then we'll create the byte data in here and we'll just assign in that first in here ever since it's asynchronous so in here we'll say with the help of image info then we say dot image that specific image okay in which we just assign the network image okay in here then we say just to by data okay simply the format we will just format that and it's gonna be ui dot image first let me just import the libraries for the ui image so then it will just get that above in here we'll say import and it's gonna be dart ui as you guys can see as ui now let's move down and right in here in the format we'll say ui as you guys can see the suggestion now image byte format we'll go with the dot png okay and write it and semicolon take this down in here now we will simply return in here the byte data okay in which we just store all of this okay I'll just explain this in detail first let me just complete the code so in here byte data and then in here and I'll check then we say buffer as unit list as I told you already it's going to just return the unit at least and write at end semicolon so we are done with this method now let me just expand it from the start so right in here this specific method is gonna just load an image from the network URL and return the image data as a unit at least okay and as I tell you already is in the future time so in here it's take our path as input as I told you already we're gonna pass that which will represent the URL of the image to be loaded 
and this will eventually just return a unit at least out of bytes if the process is going to be successful or otherwise it will be null if the image loading will be fail now right inside this specific method what we will do we just created the completer which will simply help in managing the asynchronous operation and give the indication when the loading process will be completed so we specifically just get that completer as an image info and we just assign that right in this final type completer now right down in here we create a variable by the name image and we just assign that specific a network image object which we created here with the given path okay as we are passing that in here is basically just representing the image URL to be loaded and we just assign that in this specific variable type image and right after that and basically the image resolution is attempting using that specific resolve okay just to start loading the image asynchronously and we also just add the listener to the image stream okay it will then eventually just will trigger when the image loading is completed so it will do that and right after that down below and basically one more thing about this image stream listener this is gonna just create the image stream listener and then it will wait for the image info image loading information for example and then completes the completer with the image info once the image loading is finished successfully okay then in here we create the final type image info in which we just assign this line of code it simply mean that first the avid as I told you already it's asynchronous so this keyword avid is basically used to wait for the future return by the completer whenever the completer is completed with the image info then the avid statement that keyword will specifically will assign the image info to the image info as you guys can see in here it will assign to that then down below we create final type by data in which we just assign this line of code it simply means that let me just go towards the right side so that you guys can see it clearly we just specifically call upon that it will just convert the image to the byte data object and the format specified is as you guys can see as a UI image byte format dot PNG it will just indicate that the image will be converted to the PNG format and you guys can see that in here we just successfully did that it will just convert it and right at end we just return that specific byte data okay as a unit at least basically the representation of the image data by converting the byte data object to as unit at least so there's all the explanation for this specific method okay I hope it's clear now and basically this video is getting a little lengthy so right from the next video you will create another method and we will be working on that so see you then